Yeah, I, I will be one day far away. I say, baby, I wish I knew you. I wish I knew you before. <laughs> fraud. He's a fraud. Dead <laughs> Mate, you were just practicing for two minutes. I know, it? I, he didn't blank there. You're, yeah. a, you're an aspiring musician and you've just I'm so fucked it. I'm so nervous, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've, got, I've got a couple of spots here, I don't have to see them. <laughs> you need to start bringing a guitar, so. I know. So talented. I'm hard decent. Did you, you give him lessons, Amy? What? Did you give him lessons? I'm not sure. <laughs> you won't even give me lessons. Are you, are you learning? I tried to learn myself, but it's too hard. Is, is he good? No, I hard. felt like I was strumming he's, a guitar with a boxing glove on. Wonderwall, that's a classic. Wonderwall, whatever you do that. Oh, no. And after all, <laughs> you're my wonder. You know the ones that one. Do you know actually? We need to introduce him to the show. Actually, this show's turned into yeah. a bit of a shambles, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Even McDonald and Richard Foster, amazing. Portion Bates, isn't it? Scotland, second best in Scotland after George and Susan Sloan. Aye, aye. Scotland Susan Sloan. I have to be Father's Day today, aren't I? Oh, have to be Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day. Father's Day. Everybody. Big Kenny. 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 It always reflects on my, my dad, my own dad that's not here, and I think if my dad was here and now watching this, he'd pure love this. I think he'd be up there with George Slane. Brilliant. My dad's so. not even asked about it, he's not even messaged about it at all. I mean, your dad's not even asked about you, so uh, hey. Right. I actually need to find my kid's dad today and wish him a happy family. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who his dad is? Jack Nicholas. <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> what is that jump on us? That has got like, to go. <laughs> you're dressed like a wrestler, Lisbon lion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll be having this, you've got a bit about you now. Uh, I think it's alright. Thanks, Pat. Would you make me with it? I'm still a lanking cricket on me. Still a lanking cricket. Right, he's been getting. Have you been watching the tournament? Uh, yeah. Aye. Offer. Oh, do you do the offer? Watch it. Thoughts going. Grosvenor Sport. They're our partners. Big company into Grosvenor Sport. You bet with them? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Thanks. Well, I don't. I'm not on football, obviously. I'm not allowed <laughs> to bet. But you've heard of them. You've heard of them. Big fish. Uh, when you bet ten pound on a home nation match, you get thirty pound in free bets, which is oh, unbelievable. Brilliant. Brilliant. There's not many offers going to be like that, is there? No. Ten on <laughs> Scotland to qualify. Is that what you're saying? So you're getting thirty quid. Thirty quid. Free money on that. Uh, right. You've be, been watching it. Uh, Who's impressed I, you? For the most part, um, probably Italy. Germany uh, last night. You love Germany, so well, don't you? You've got a bit of connection. They were getting written off after that first game against France and they seem to be one of the only countries that can just perform under pressure. Just, yeah. we need to go in here, we need to go and get the win and they've done it easily. The no, weather were very, very good. The boy, is it, was it Gossens? Gossens. Uh, Gossens. Yeah, yeah, the left. I know. What's he, what's he it, uh, you never watched that? It's no, an it's 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 mentality, isn't it? Aye. You've got a different mentality, mate, for the rest, haven't you? I think if you watch yeah. the first game of Portugal, how good Portugal were, and people think, you know what, by the way, and Germany's turned them over quite comfortably, so it's going to be interesting because teams that we thought who are favourites at the beginning, like with France, a dodgy result against, who did they draw with? Hungary. Hungary. And then Spain's drew a game. England apparently were England the apparently, they were going to be amazing. Yeah, come that, Coming home. I haven't done well, done it. So what I want to ask, where was watching the game the other night, the England game? Scotland, England. I was just watching it at my neighbour's house. They've got a big cinema room and oh, it's wow. great, so we had it on the big screen. How the other half live? How the rich people live? It's <laughs> not me. I was up the road with my wee man. Road, <laughs> road, 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 I was watching it my mum and dad's on the tiny TV. Just a big fat box in the back of the telly. <laughs> How special was that night though? I, they were, to be fair, Scotland were really good. Um, England were it was it was actually nice to see them like that because right. you hear so much shit about how good they're going to yes, be. Yes, boys, yeah. love it. Yes. Um, you watch them and you go, fucking, they're not that good. Nah. How though? Like that's, that's what I don't get. Like how can they be so poor every tournament with that squad? Because there's almost like they've got too many good players. Uh, like, they just but don't work England have always been the same. They, yeah. just, they can never get the the balance right. Um, you need, you two sitting midfielders against Scotland, who you know are going to sit in against you. You said that yesterday. Stupid. Uh -huh. Jake Southgate's. Do you think he's going to be the, the guy that kills him? Because the, the teams that he's picking to me are not right, eh? He's, uh, he seems to be kind of loyal to, to too many, doesn't he? And, and I don't know, they just like, they were just dead flat and he never even tried to change it. So, you know, I think the only, for Scotland, I think right for now. England, because they've virtually qualified, he will change it for the final game against the Czechs and he might end up getting lucky because he's got that opportunity to change it. I think he'll maybe throw in a couple of guys that maybe, like, Jaden Sancho was talking about going to Man United for over 100 million. The guy's not even played one, one single second, minute yeah. yet. Jude Billingham, the next big thing, he's not even played a minute. Oh, so, yeah, Gaelish hasn't he played either. Yeah, well, uh, so I think he might get away with the fact that he's got a free reign at the, the game against the Czech Republic. And uh, 
you might end up seeing like a different animal in the, the kind of latter stages, but who knows? Do you know what doesn't help as well, Si, when the likes of Gary Neville are coming out saying that Gareth Southgate's England's biggest asset? No, no, right? what is he talking about? That? What a lot of nonsense that is. I know. You get it, your mates, but biggest asset when they've got players that are getting linked with a hundred million plus million. Go and shave your task, Gary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, uh, what Scottish in. players do you like? Who do you like, Amy? Um, Don't stay Stephen O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen O'Donnell. Yeah. 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 The national hero. What a guy. <laughs> I know. Do you actually? No. What? Do you actually like him? I'm just looking because... Foz gets very tender when people play in his position. Ah, nah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, we all do. We all want him to have a big step oh, in the head. And don't even talk about no getting League One Team of the Year. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not get in that? No. Who, who, was, who was the left back? Oh, no, 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 he didn't get in. Boy for Airdrie. And then I had to listen to the stats from the guy that did get in. Six it, clean sheets like, and two, two assists. He got, I got 11 and three, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> not like you anyway, it. sorry. Conspiracy, <laughs> uh, Tuesday, we're going to do it. I think I, I so. Think so. I think so. Well, you, so we'll get a win against Croatia? I think we might get a win against Croatia we'll then, but win. then what will happen is that the luck will not go our way and we'll be one of the only Aye. third place <laughs> wins. I, put a da- I don't <laughs> want to put a damper on things, right, but we've, we've not scored a goal. I know. Yeah, I that's know. the only thing. We do have a tendency to get overexcited, yeah. I have to say. like We are still bottom of the table when we haven't scored one <laughs> goal. <laughs> so if you're the manager the new, how do we change that then? How do we go? Oh, I think we keep. I keep. I think we keep, keep it the same team because it, it, it's yeah. worse not scoring a goal if you've no created chances. We've created yeah, loads of okay, chances, and once the first one goes in, hopefully we get the second, and things will look a lot more. You know, the the field place, you know, like when you walk about the town or you walk, everybody just loves each other. Aye. Yeah, it's nice. Amazing, isn't it? It's yeah. so nice. So after Aye. all this crap know, that we've had, it finally feels like you've got something else to focus on, yeah. and everybody's just buzzing and happy. You just keep getting off everyone, don't everyone you meet, you get off. <laughs> <don't> you? <laughs> That's why you get so many spots in your chin. Oh, <laughs> wow. Richard Foster's on fire. <laughs> By the way, we need to say it. Look, what about the sneaks? Anyone notice them when they came in? What, Steve Clark's? That's what I was going to say. He's rivaling Steve. Do you know Steve Clark's been Blenty Aggies? Uh, was uh, he? Uh, he's supposing oh, he's walking about the hotel with big Blenty Aggies on. Shop runners he's got one. <laughs> but runners Foster's got the, the Louis V's on. Looks smart, isn't he? Looks smart. Like that. Like Paul? Raging the if you spot a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Should we <laughs> tell them the announcement we made last night? What's that announcement? I come from though, because he came from my gear when I was on sports in one night, so... Oh, wow. oh this, guy, yeah, right, this guy's here, <laughs> everything, he's on it, I love it. You know what, actually, see when I said they were coming on, I was like, fuck, have I said that before? I was going to make an excuse, I don't want to come this morning. Should we tell them the announcement we made live on the live show last night? What happens if Scotland goes through? Oh, that's right, if Scotland goes through, we'll get tattoos. Me and Si are going to get an open goal tattoo live on the podcast next week to Scotland. Oh, really? Honestly, it's You should use two in, you two in. Do you fancy it? Open gold tattoo on the podcast. Did you get a Scotland one? Because you're in your tattoos, aren't you? Um, yeah, I've already got a Scotland one. Oh, have you? It's been a bit. It's just a little butterfly. Just a little Scotland butterfly. Oh, I love that. Darren Darnold will date for us, won't he? Oh, look at this guy. I got that. got that when I was at Rangers. When I was, I was, when I was watching the uh, Independence, I went down really well. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Out of defiance. <laughs> Under armour every week. <laughs> so what, what tattoo are you actually going to get out and go? What, what is, just an OG? Aye, just but then might put your face next to it because you're the star, aren't you? Tear bro. Yeah, Have you seen Amy's tweet? She's got Rio Ferdinand on, on toast. Oh, yes, Amy! Yay. Yay. So has it went viral, huh? I don't, I don't know about that, but loads How many of people have watched it. Like 700,000 or something. That's just about, is that 50,000 less than what we get? Uh, I think so. That's viral yeah. to me though, 700,000 yeah, views. It'll be, it'll be over 700,000 after this, obviously. Yeah. So what did it annoy you when he said that? Have you actually watching it at the time when it he said that? It doesn't annoy me, it just makes me laugh. I just think, why do you, like, it's basically just you know that it's going to come back and bite you on the arse. Like, why even say it? Just he would be love like... someone to come back and bite him on the arse though. <laughs> Has he responded to it, Fernand? I think he did, I think he responded, but they asked, Lineker asked him about it last night and um, he got quite defensive about it and he was like, oh, I'm, I'm just a fan, like, I'm just a fan like everybody else, you can't have a go at me for just being a fan. And it's like, oh, but it's just the way they say it, it's no, just yeah. like, that matter but, of fact. But and when you're on the media, you, you need to be more than just a fan when you have the presence Aye. that he does on the yeah. TV and stuff, so. Did you yeah. see Andy Goldstein on TalkSpot? He was every bit as bad, man, did you see what well, he was saying? 
he was saying, ah, oh, congratulations to Scotland. You're thinking, oh, fair play, but then all the condescending stuff came after. Yeah, they're like, they're like, the like the third worst team. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, they weren't even that good. Sc- England were just pathetic. Just, I can't stand on, that. We need to get, when, when are we Zoom calling O'Hara? We've got Jamie O'Hara on toast. He said it was going to be 4-0, <laughs> didn't he? He said it was going to be 4-0, Scotland. Aye, he so called pick, it, didn't Pickford's he? Yeah. Pickford's going to score, didn't he? Said Pickford's going to score. So we need to get a Zoom call with that old slug, don't we? That little tub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you played down South Richard, that is quite condescending, isn't it? I, I, um, I was probably no, not as patriotic as I am now beforehand, and then you go down to England, I was in Bristol, lovely part of the world to live in, but... Alright, my but, liver, it's like that. Uh, uh, but uh, they just don't that. care about Scotland at all. No. Like, no. I would, like, they'd think, they honestly thought Glasgow was in north of Scotland. <laughs> biggest city in, one of the biggest cities in Britain. You think, you, where, what, where, what, part of Gla- uh, where, what part of Scotland is Glasgow? What do you mean? Is it north, south, east, or west? North. Oh. <laughs> west, west, so west. Uh, so I think back what I said, aye, they just, and even the, even the dress room we had with McInnes, they never really gave him a chance because he was for Scotland, and like, and I just, I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, you know, and then you come back up here, and, it's, and the, the banter's different in the dress room as well. They, they don't like any banter, they're all too <coughs> self absorbed and too, yeah. take themselves too seriously. You'd have been the same, Kev. Some of them, they, they kind of got it a wee bit, but like you say, the further south you go, it gets worse and worse. Um, it's just a lack of respect, and like you say, yeah. they, they are banter in the change room. What they think's hilarious, you're sitting there thinking, oh, shut up. Yeah. Like, it's really, really grim. Te- they're, they're weird, but aren't they? Aye. But when you were at MK Don, I, I heard you badmouth the Scottish game when you were doing that. Slaughtered it every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. You might have just fit in, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's weird. Remember, when I was doing that, but so many people were like, oh, this guy's mental and stuff like that. And we went a two day, like, the night out. And see the next day, like, the Christmas do. They were drinking green tea, mate, in the morning, yeah, Christmas do. Uh, they've got all that, they're all mental. They're different, uh, they're, they've got a different pattern in there, didn't they? <laughs> green tea. I, I, I think Scottish. This show's act. never moving down south now. No, no. There's no <laughs> chance. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you don't want it. Oh, yeah, nah, want it. Want it. Yeah, I think the big part about Scottish part is sarcasm in it. Right. I just don't think English people get nah. their sarcasm, no. which is why they're no funny, basically. What about <laughs> this then? Most famous person you've met at a football match? This man, Rod Stewart. How did you? Is that right? <laughs> he was asking me questions about what it's like in the dressing room, like at uh, Parkhead and you're playing Celtic. <laughs> usually shite no, you get tanked uh, <laughs> Rod went to the toilet and Rod came over to me and said I've got so many questions I want to ask him and I was like well ask him and he was like oh but you think that would be annoying and I was like this is so wow. funny this conversation and I was like no it'll be fine they won't be bothered so he came back and it was just like what happens at half time when you're playing Celtic <laughs> in your dressing room that was what but he was to like know. such a gentleman every time he may left the t- table he'd stand I'd up stand up Every time what? Every Amy time got up I'll to go to the, like. Oh, he would stand up. Uh, just like, stand he was the only up, one, exactly. just as like only... being a gentleman. That I was like, what a guy. Super. Oh, yeah. I love That's that. So... Did you ask him anything first? No. <laughs> I would ask him something. Oh, I'd have been peppering on my uh, questions. Uh, uh, but my question would be, why we had Rangers fan up to twenty five? <laughs> <laughs> if you want my body <laughs> and you think I'm sexy, <laughs> come on, sugar, let me You need a little more of the song. That's the worst thing about this show. They start singing songs and they don't know any words. Mate, what's the worst one yet? Last night was the one I forgot. Mate, Caledonia. Caledonia. You start singing Caledonia every live show and you sing the first two words. You don't know the rest, so you leave it silent for thirty seconds. It's the most awkward ten seconds in the show. Take, pull you at home, but I, really I don't know. let you know either. They're all just staring at each other at me. Yeah, it's bad. What, uh, who else is good guys? Famous people? I love um, the famous stuff, do you know? You've met way more than me. Gosh. What, at football, Matt? Yeah, football. Anyone else at football, football now? I don't know if about at football. I went to um, the German managers came to a few of my gigs before. Oh, wow. And um, because we'd gotten tickets to the gig, he was like, well, if you ever want to come to a match, just let me know. And obviously a couple of years ago, Scotland were in Germany's group qualifying. So he gets in touch and says, do you want to come over? It was Dortmund to the match and all of that. So I was buzzing, my mates were all buzzing. He's, they sorted everything for us. We got picked up at the airport in a big blacked out window car with the, the logo on the side oh, of it wow. and driven wow. right into the stadium where all the players go. So everybody's like, Try to look in the windows of who's this important yeah. person. And it's like us Jake Balls from Bishop Briggs. Jake Balls. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it was a free bar, and you're allowed to oh, take. No, you're talking. allowed to take. Yeah, they weren't ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to take the um, the booze out into the stand, 
and it was like champagne and stuff and Scotland scored and my friend tipped champagne all over the back of the guy that was in front of us yes, so he was that. then raging so we then had to get up and we've just walked all the way around the stadium found the tartan army and just went right budge along and amongst the tartan <laughs> army squeezed in, didn't Love even have that. A seat. Just as well he didn't have a glass of bucket on him. Oh. Just running out with somebody's back. Tell me he never done his disgusting thing that he does. I don't that's that's unfair. I think he's just been caught a few awkward times. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't think know. he's sniffing his fingers. <laughs> I think it's just that. I think it's just that like you know, when you're thinking about something. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I've met him loads of times in the Is he a top man, is he? Has he ever sniffed he? his bum when you met him? No, he hasn't. <laughs> 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 uh, Andy Constant, you played him at Aberdeen. Boogie's crazy, isn't oh, it? Well, oh, every time you turn the telly on, people are singing it, it's amazing. Couldn't it like He's such a quiet guy as well, yeah. you probably know that. that's what he said, gee whiz. But <laughs> in that video, he just looks so out of character, you're just thinking, but then it's the, it's the finger in the mouth, that's a bit of it. it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to watch. But fair play to him, because he's embraced it, and obviously now the whole country's embraced it. Is that it. where this came from? Because yeah. I've heard a few different conflicting stories. Is it because so of So have you seen the video that? about a year, was it a year ago? I remember that happening, but I didn't know if that's exactly why everybody latched on to a it A few now. people try to claim it, haven't they? Yeah, Thank embarrassing. You. Uh, Sai si, si brought the video to the table one day and we watched it and then every now and then during each podcast he would sing it. in the early days we would just throw it out there and start right. singing it so everybody kept wondering why are they singing this song and then obviously when it surfaced on the... Tierney Nash, played it in the dressing room obviously. Tierney played it when obviously the, the Scotland team would watch the show because they liked the banter Aye. and then when they qualified it came on the dressing room and that's kind of how it taken there so we've got a part of it I would say. My favourite bit of the story too is he's like my uncle's like a really... Like a, like a well-known property developer in Aye, Aberdeen, Aberdeen Constantine, and yeah. he says he goes into things and people are like, are you that guy for that, Aber that Andy Constantine buddy? <laughs> no way! I was a wee bit, uh, that was the one I wish it got in the squad. But supposedly the reason Steve Clark, he wasn't in the squad is he stood on his Balenciagas. Oh, is that right? <laughs> 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 Big feet in, Steve Clark was raging. Jake Constantine should have made it? Nah. I, I think he just, uh, he gives us something a bit different. He's He's more defensively minded than Tierney, obviously. Um, I'm not saying he should play instead of him, but I just and I think he'd done really well in the games he played. Yeah, and I just thought he, you know, again, like Slaney, it's one of those where you think, ah, if you if there's going to be one guy you want to make it, um, probably him. I mean, I, I mean, Gallagher's done well, but he's not really played much this season for yeah. Motherwell. Um, maybe we could have gotten ahead of him. I don't know, but yeah, he's he, he's just a good guy, Andy. So you do wish him. You do. I did wish that he got in. Like any Aberdeen boys in the Scotland squad is Armstrong Aberdeen. I don't know where he's from. Oh, I don't think so. Ne Aberdeen he's very well spoken, Stuart Armstrong, isn't he? He's got a law degree. Nah, he's got a law degree. But he was <laughs> stupid enough to try and get the two free kicks off Lee Griffiths. You know what? <laughs> he was also stupid enough not to kick the fucking ball away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, well, Ian McCollin. How's it been working for him? I like him. He's uh, uh, been really good. He's brilliant with me. He um, was one of the older ones. Um, kind of honest, but he's he's a good laugh as well. Um, and he's, he's, he's old school, but he, it's weird because he treats the young ones like you'd expect, you know, like he does, they miss out runs and don't do all the work that we do some of the times, um, as do I. Um, but no, he's just he's just a genuine guy and he's, he's good banter. Um, like I say, because I'm one of the older ones, he gives me a bit of respect and, you know, pre-season just there, I missed half the runs one of the days, which is nice. What, he just says, take the older we I think we were doing 10 runs and he's just like, right, you do the first five and that's it. What age, what age do you hit? Before man just start allowing you to do that, because I can't wait. I was like 32, 33, 32, 33, 33, yeah. I can't wait. It's probably the same me and Connor yesterday. Are you yet? No, no, I'm 29. It's that govern paper around me, it's no easy. Uh -huh. You used to play against each other? Uh, right. A few times, I have. Mm. I can imagine you used to having a bit of needle on the pitch. He, he, a wee bit. I, I can imagine he, it. He done me an absolute cracker though, because the ball broke and I'm thinking, right, this is it, you're getting it here. And I'm charging <laughs> in like a maniac, big slime tackle, just as that Zidane turned around me. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Did you, Andrew? I don't know where it came from. I just... I've had, a, had an out of body experience. I'm thinking, into I'm thinking <laughs> it's Andy Halliday, he's coming in for a tackle here. That's all he's going to do. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be I'm a tackle. I'm thinking, right, I'm going to go right in this, and he just does, man. I'm just like, right, brilliant. He said that side, he said that he was one of the uh, most he, underrated technical, underrated technical ability players. These, these, these gentlemen think I'm the worst player ever. The way no, they I'll talk to me every sure, night, I'm just the worst player in the world, so <laughs> I just need to back myself up sometimes. Then I talk. Fucking right, you do, mate. Yeah, but what I was saying, we were talking about earlier, how hard's it been for a musician the last year and a half? Oh. Shite. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but the, I'm not, but the record's still, some, still coming in that, didn't they? Well, yeah, you still, you obviously still sell albums and stuff, but with shops closed as well that had an impact and with streaming, 
Like, I may as well go out with a hat and collect pennies in the street with the money that you get from streaming. Oh, yeah, so right. it's just a bit, it's just a bit shit. Like, gigs are where you, you kind of, you, you earn your living. So it's just a bit crap that I've written just ended, but hopefully it'll come back. You have more time to, to write more music because yes, of it. Yes, but I'm a lazy bastard. <laughs> 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 that's, that's a bit of well, he's, he's, he's doing that, he's writing a month on, Month off. Yeah. It's taking a month to write a couple of lines. What's difficult as well, which Lewis probably finds as well, I write songs about stuff that happens and to me and life, stuff yeah. that goes on, and that everybody's life is just the same old crap right now. So it's like mm -hmm. I've not got any experiences yes. or anything to draw from. So I didn't I didn't want to write a bunch of songs about being in lockdown because when we come out of this nobody wants yeah, to be reminded of it. Aye. So it's like, yeah, I'll just I'll just leave that and do nothing and just put my feet up. <laughs> do you go to each other's gigs? Like, do you go to Amy's gig and do you go to his fit mum? I watch more football than he does gigs. Yeah, a lot of her yeah. gigs are obviously in Europe, um, and I go when I can, but the ones here I go to, but uh, Amy's, yeah. Amy's my biggest fan. I go. Well, no, your mom's probably <laughs> my biggest fan, me and you. <laughs> me, me and my mum just like, we like spending our Saturday afternoon at football, so my mum was gutted that this season, because she was like, oh great, I can walk to Mary Hill and go in, and obviously not being able oh, to do any I've never seen us give them a dinner at Firhill that day. I just beat him for how high? One nil, mate. Next week. How was he? Annoying as fuck. Just, <laughs> just in the referees here, yeah, the whole game. Referee the whole tell. game. I can tell. To be fair, we just sat behind the ball, but I don't know. Hey, you said chances early doors. If, if you score early, it's a different game. Yeah. But then you came Butter up to, run, you came up to Peter Head and battered us 3 0. But that's good. good that day. Aye, but we scored in the first half and it makes a massive yeah. difference. Hey, Amy, I was going to ask you, you obviously you sell albums all over the world, but you, when you're, you're touring Europe, is there any country you go to where you think, Wow, they love me here. Switzerland. Switzerland, eh? Switzerland has been the... I mean, Germany's great as well, but Switzerland is the best one because they have loads of money, so they pay you <laughs> loads of money. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> so you go to Switzerland and I just do these amazing gigs, like at um, the airport in Geneva, they have the Montreux Jazz Festival, which is like a big classic festival that's went for years. Like everybody's played there. And um, at Geneva Airport, which is the nearest airport to Montreux, um, you'd come down the escalators and there's a big, massive photograph of me. Is it? That's unreal, <laughs> man. That's amazing yeah, stuff like that in places like cool. that, isn't it? Yeah, totally random. And nobody even told me it was there. I was just arriving one time. Wow. And I was like, oh, there I am. <laughs> You're going for a wee bit of the German look, aren't you? With the the, the tash. Uh, it's funny that because it was it was Amy that made me shave my beard like this, so. What is that? What is that? Yeah, leave me. I'm fragile, old <laughs> man. Is that count as a tash? That is terrible. <laughs> right? The window takes us off. I went to my first jazz night a couple of years ago. By the way, what a night I had. Did you? Unbelievable. Or more in the West End. I was driving home for training. There was like a big sort of banner outside it. It was like um, oh, what was the band called? Lettuce. And I was, uh, I was in the car with Scott Alfie, me, me and him were Googling it. It was, like a, it was a jazz band for Boston. So it was like a Tuesday night or something like that. Like, I'm going to go to this tonight. And it was unbelievable. This is the most Honestly. unexpected a story ever. Me and Scott, <laughs> Scott Alfie ended up just going to Oromo for this jazz night. What a night we had. So almost as unexpected as our, as our downturn he done on me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Burgundy, you, you play the jazz flute? Is it like that? Or fine camera? It's so good. Is it pure? It's genuinely good. Have you ever been to a jazz night? No. You'd love it. So there's no right words now. in jazz, is that right? They actually they sang one song, it was like an old song, see that, like Get On Up. They sang that, that was the only song with words, and the rest was just sort of. Him and Scott Arfield are weird, isn't uh, it? Yeah. I actually caught him there. Who's saying it? I was going to George Swain's trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> so I was weird at the hydro. No, but talk about the new album first, please, Paul. The new album. What right. an album it is. <laughs> Favourite song, Paul? <laughs> Favourite song, Paul, yeah, please. <laughs> no, no, number eight, number eight. Number eight's a belter, isn't it? They're missing out. It's an album of belters. So what have you wrote about? Everything. 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 Is it class? Is there any no. songs about Foz? No. Never no, nah. there, I don't know. Like, there, there's maybe it. like one or whatnot, but right. I don't really write songs about Foz. He's not really a inspiring subject. <laughs> 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 This is a life was about Foz, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't before. even know Foz. Uh, yeah. yeah. Foz, but you knew. You knew it was coming out of the witch. What? C'est la vie means this is the life. Oh, shut up. Well, uh, how did you meet? I want to hear that. Has anyone ever asked you that now? Uh, we actually met at Lee Miller's wedding. Lee Miller. Very who handsome, and his wife's very gorgeous as well. Oh, okay. a good wedding. He is a handsome yeah. man. Yes, so he is. So we actually met then. 
which mm. was like... Because we just we, we sat beside each other at the wedding. Ten years yeah. ago or something. So who, 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 who kind of approached who was no, <laughs> that's the best story. Right, come on then. So was that a message on Twitter? No, Faw's no, message. No. Faw's I, message I messaged you on Twitter initially, right? And then... Same what? Just... Hi, just how are shite, you? Like, right. Just shite, like just absolute shite and I was like, I know this guy's game. Aye, but then <laughs> a, a couple of weeks in, I get a message going, oh, um, oh there's, there's not enough characters on Twitter, here's my number. No, that is Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, No, that's... <laughs> so you approached him, that's it, that's just the story. That's what you got from Andy, yep. Where did he take you first date? Steve, if you were taking any McDonald's on first date, I'd be... I would be Shiting yourself, aye. So where did you take it? Just to the restaurant right beside their house. Andy Ammo. Exactly. Like home oh, Andy Ammo's nice to be fair, old guy. I live. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. What, that Andy Ammo and. Uh, yeah, yeah. What is it? The freeze. The freeze. Hydro now in the sip. Is it going to happen? Richard Foster's the only man on this panel that's not going to. Uh, or person, sorry, that's going to the Hydro. Yeah. 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 So, so you're coming? Happen? I hope it's going to happen. I, th I think it has to. Like, we can't still be in this crap come December. Like, So I think. I think it will happen, yeah, I'm hopeful. Can we be your support act? Sorry? Can we be your support act? If you want, yeah. You're no support act. You, you need to talking? learn no, I mean one. Yeah, yeah, I mean the guitar eye. Here's a big question for Richard Forster. You can only go to one gig, what one, what one are you choosing? Open goal or even McDonald's? It's, it's not a question. So? Open goal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, well, heard our, I've heard our songs loads. Do you, yeah. do, do, do you practice? No. No. <laughs> she, is, she is a lazy bastard. That's brilliant, isn't it? That's cool, isn't it? Just rock yeah. up and go. Do the gigging up the road, huh? I do as little rehearsal as I can. My band like to do loads of rehearsal, so they'll end up in for a week, and then I'll do the last day, and then just do it. Are you you are can't you really. On your band? Like, no, not at all. Rock stars or pop stars are like quite. Oh, you've got that wrong, that wrong. Are you just quite laid back? No, we just have a laugh together. Super like hell. it's just about. It goes, my, some of them have been with me since the beginning. Like I was 17 when I met them, so. We just have a good laugh good. and it's it's fun. You've yeah. had them the same bands since you were 17? Yeah, wow. like, so my, my drummer I met before I even signed and whatnot and he's played with me, not fully through because people have different commitments and stuff, but he's been playing with me again recently, so it's Brilliant. been nice, yeah. By the way, I need to say, have you watched Noel Gallagher's documentary on Sky Arts? He's playing his new music and he's also speaking. No. He's turned into David Brent. How, you hate this documentary, didn't you? I used to love him. See the Supersonic album? They're two heroes, isn't they? Watch him now, mate. He's so had a I don't know what's happened. What's he doing? But he's like, People ask me why I support you two. One, they're my mates. Two, they're brilliant. Three, we're brilliant. And I was like, what's happened to me, Gallagher, man? <laughs> you need to watch it, honestly. I don't know what's happened to me. He's went full David Brent. I do, I need to watch it. But you, you get that with a lot of musicians, they just... Lose their heads. I get to a certain... You be careful, by the way. Oh, you get to a certain stage and they just go... No, but she's been cool. They don't I think with some time. people, they're always surrounded by yes men, so they're always surrounded by people that's that are I've, telling Amy, them that's how, what I've done with these how, <laughs> how great they are, and it suddenly just goes to their head. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Strange. Anyone else ask, ask questions? Love this. I, I know. I would like to just stay for a wee night. What, what can we talk about now, Paul? <laughs> Do you get nervous backstage before you go? I don't get nervous doing my own gigs just because you go out and whatever, the worst that can happen is you make a mistake and people actually love it when you make a mistake. Like, they, they feel that you're, you're kind of all in it together. I get nervous doing like live TV. Um, yeah. yeah, the worst one was doing that anthem at Hamden. Absolutely shitting myself. Oh, that would be tough. That would be horrible, man. But, um, did you do well? I've done it loads of times, yeah, uh-huh. And like, you still get as nervous now? Yeah, I've not done it in years. Like, they, they asked me before the, everything went to shit basically they said would I go on the plane with the team to go and do it in when they had the playoffs yeah. and stuff like that and I was like oh, I don't know if Probably I want to she gets a chance that. to go on a plane I've got <laughs> 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 like, I don't know if Clean I want to do that like, <laughs> so I was umming and ahhing and then obviously everything went crap anyway so that never happened see how you like you know your football so see if you go and watch him on a Saturday you quite have a criticalised performance you say things I'll be honest with him I wouldn't be like necessarily you know when someone says I'm going to be honest you know it's going to be <laughs> negative <laughs> no, it's not. I'll be like oh you've done that well and then that was Jake. shit and then you've done that well. a wee shit sandwich <laughs> like, with the, the honesty and then the compliment have you ever get feedback for the, for the gigs no none I'd know nothing about music no, like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, do, you ever, do you ever disagree with her assessment on your performance do you ever hear that of you not really yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. I'm quite. I think I'm quite honest. Yeah, you are. You are. Quite like honest. when I'm shite, I'll say I'm shite. Yeah. Um, like the start of last season, I was shite. Right. Um, and then I, I gradually got better. I think you're just really unfit. 
Oh, that's true. Nine months. <laughs> no, but nine like nine months <laughs> no, dead, lockdown and then go back. Thirty-five. Like body was like, what is this going on? Yeah. But then I eventually got over that and I actually feel better now than I did then. But but I so I was I was pretty crap. But I, I was I'm usually quite honest about that when I'm when I'm shy. I don't know you, don't know what you guys are like, but. You tend to be your own worst critic, don't you? Aye, I, I think younger players are not like that now. Eh? No. I think it's more the older boys that are, but the younger boys are fucking brilliant, aren't they? Aye, no, there's some delusional people out there, by the way. Josh Windass being oh. the biggest. <laughs> he just thinks he's a 9 out of 10 every week, doesn't matter what happened. By the way, him and, him and Cal had some argument up there on the balcony the other night. What about? Mate, it was just a nothing like question. Like, I was, we were just talking and then I just said, oh, you two must have played against each other this, uh, this season, eh? And Josh just went, aye, scored two inside the first half an hour. And then Cal just went on one man. <laughs> I was like, mate, you're doing Cal me, you're relegated to League One, don't even talk to me, I'm Championship, I'm only going up. And I was like, what have I started with these two, man? Uh, and the last question for us, you're going to go to management, yeah? Uh, hopefully, hopefully going to go a bit of coaching this year and then kind of progress into management. Uh, um, that's, that's the, that's the long-term plan anyway. Would you prefer the media stuff or coaching? Um, the media stuff is good, I do enjoy it, but I, I, you know, I like, you want to be, you know, if you can't actually take part in training yourself, I want to be involved in it somehow, yeah. so I want to do, do a bit of coaching and, and see, you know, I, I might do it and, and be rubbish at it, so then there's no future for me, but at the moment that's that's definitely the plan. Suppose when you're doing the media stuff and you're chatting about football and giving your opinion, it's always good to actually go and do it, and, and people try and can say for yeah. yourself, wait a minute, what he's saying on TV or radio, whatever it may be, you can actually do it on the park, because a lot of people always say that thing, like, well, you go and take the job, look at Gary Neville, probably one of the greatest pundits we've got, no, we've got, they've got, and he was an absolute flop when it came to... He's coaching. took the wrong club at the wrong time, so I know, he? but Simon... But Valencia, you talk about Valencia? I know, but nah, the wrong I, club I, at the wrong time, when, when is there the right club at the right well, time? You can't speak the language and you're going I mean, over there and I feel sorry for him with that yeah. one. Sorry, si, si, football is only one language. Oh, I love that. Football's only one language, isn't it? What is it? <laughs> football didn't change from country to country just because you can't speak the language. I know, but what is the, the objective? Language? Still the same. Football is the language. Oh, I love that. Hi. I love that, Kev. Oh, so so you, you need to actually you trademark that. Yeah. Football oh, is the yeah. language. I'm, I've, I've been quiet. I said too much yesterday. I say too much. I get. Um, it's been said all the time. Isn't pay me too much. Isn't that Paul? Is that us then done? Is that us done? Your decision. That's it. This is. I don't. I don't know why I read this up because it's your. It's your thing. Why don't you? Why don't you tell us about your decision? What is it? Have you got the results there? No, I've not got your results, mate. No. You just, take, mate you too busy, just explain to the people how you play. You can get involved. You do it, Sam. I'm shite. I get me involved. <laughs> <that's right. laughs> well, you, you can do this. Come so on, Paul. So you do it. Come on, Paul. I, I, I need, you need to take your stabilisers off your bike. No, Come on, start stuttering. Come on. No, Amy, do you want to do it? Do you want me to do it? I want to do it. Yes. £10,000. Right. The, that whole bit there. Do I need to do it down the camera? Aye. Can, can you do it? Let's see if you can do it down camera. It'd be very impressive, isn't it? Are you trying to get a gig in the BBC? <laughs> she can get a job in the BBC anytime she likes. You can get involved in the free to play game at home as well for a big chance to win big money. Wow. It's a simple yes and no game. A thousand pounds will be won in the fifth round as well as an overall leaderboard prize of ten grand. You have until five PM today to enter. Everyone who gets six or more right also gets a ten pound free bet. Go to gsport.com forward slash open goal to play. Thanks very much, guys. What a couple.